Hi girls, so I'm just going to correct exercise 1.3. So it's question two to five and it's what you had for homework last night. So what I have, first of all, is I have R is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and S is equal to 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11. The first thing I was asked to do is I was asked to copy and complete the Venn diagram. Okay, so this here is my Venn diagram, my two circles. And I know the first thing I must do when I'm trying to fill out a Venn diagram is fill in my middle part first, my intersection. To fill in my intersection, I must find out what does R and S have in common, okay? So I can see here there's trees in R and trees in S. So I'm going to put tree in the middle here. Five is in R and five is in S. So I'm going to put five in here. Seven is in R and seven is in S. So I'm also going to put seven in here, okay? So my middle part is what they have common to both of them. So they're in both set R and in set S, okay? Anything that's left over will go outside here. So here I have one, so I'm putting in one, and here I have nine, so I'm putting in nine. Then I have on set S, two is left over, so I'm putting in two, and then I have here is 11, so I put in 11. That is the Venn diagram completed. The next part of this question asks me to list or U S. Okay, we know that symbol stands for union. Okay, and union is everything inside in these two circles. Okay, so it's elements that are in both R and S. Okay, so I'm going to write this answer here. So we have one, we have nine, we have three, five, seven, we have two, and we also have eleven. But remember girls, I said yes, I like having them in order from smallest to largest. So I'm going to rewrite this as 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 9 and 11. Okay, and that's the first one completed. That's part B. Part C then said to list the elements of R, N, S. Okay, and this little N stands for intersection. Okay, so my intersection is my middle part. Okay, so it's what they have in common to both. Okay, and my answer for this one then is three, five, seven. That's my intersection for our intersection S. Part D asks me, what is hashtag or? Okay, and we know that hashtag in maths stands for cardinal number okay so cardinal number means the number of elements in that set okay so i'm looking up here this is my set or so my cardinal number of or number of elements in this set is one two three four five so my answer is five e then asks me the cardinal number of or intersection s Okay, right, so R intersection S is my middle part here. Okay, so my intersection is what they have in common to both of them. So the cardinal number of that, the number of elements in R intersection S is one, two, three. So my answer here is three. Then I have um, part S. It asks me, what is hashtag S? Okay, right, so my cardinal number of S so going up here, so cardinal number is the number of elements in the set. And in S, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my answer is 5. Okay. And the final part here then that we we're asked is part G. And G asks me, what is hashtag bracket or U S? Okay. Or union S. Okay, so R union S is everything in the two circles, so everything is included. Okay, and the cardinal number is number of elements in that set. So I'm going to count how many numbers, how many elements are in my R union S. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my answer for this one is seven. Now I'm going to go on and correct part three of this question. Okay, so this is question three. 
So I have P, this is a set P, so I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and my set Q has 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, so there are the elements in set Q. First part of this question, it asks me to copy and complete the Venn diagram. Okay, All right, so this is set P, this is set Q. So my Venn diagram is my two circles. When I'm starting these questions, the first thing I must fill in is my middle part, my intersection, okay? My intersection is found by finding what do they both have in common, okay? I can see here that both sets have 10 in common, so I'm going to put in 10. I can also see that both sets have 20 in common, so I'm going to put 20 in here as well. And then the last one that I can see that they both have in common is 30. So I'm going to put in 30 as well. Okay, this side here is set P. So anything that's left over, my 5, 15 and 25, that's going to come out here. So 5, 15, 25. Okay, and then anything that's left over in Q is going to come out here as well, 40. Okay, so that is it represented... Um, in the Venn diagram. The next thing it asks me is list the elements of P, U, Q. Okay, All right, so this here symbol stands for union, and union is everything inside in the two circles. Okay, so everything is included in my union. So I have 5, 15, 25, 10, 20, 30. And 40. However, girls, remember I like to have them in order. Once you get really good practice in these, you'll be able to skip straight to this line. Okay, so my lowest one is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 40. Okay, so that's all my elements included, and that answer is for P union Q. Part C then asks me. What is the elements of P intersection Q? Okay, so P N Q, this stands for intersection. My intersection is my middle part here. Okay, so it's what they have in common to both of them. So the answer for this one is 10, 20, 30. Then part D asks me, it says, what is... Um, hashtag P union Q. Okay, what is the cardinal number? Okay, so this is stands for cardinal number of P union Q. Okay, so the U stands for union, and we just answered this up here. Okay, so P union Q, we've already answered it, but I'm going to read it from my Venn diagram. Okay, so the number of elements in P union Q, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the answer is 7. Then I have part E, and it asks me for the hashtag of P intersection Q. Okay, so that N stands for intersection. Intersection is the middle part here. So how many elements do I have in the intersection? I have 1, 2, 3, so 3 is the answer. Okay, so here I have question four, and I have my set x is equal to 10, 20, 30, 40, y is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, right, what I have here, then I'm asked to copy and complete the Venn diagram. So the first thing I always try to do is I fill in my middle part, my intersection. Okay, so my intersection is found by finding what do they have in common. Okay, right, so here I have 10, 20, 30, 40, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4. They have nothing in common, okay? So remember, anything that's left over, we just fill in here. So this is going to be 10, 20, 30, 40, and Y is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. Then it says, list the elements of X, U, Y. Okay, so X, U, Y is equal to. This here stands for my union. My union is everything inside the two circles. Okay, so I'm going to fill it in. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40. Now I'm filling in here. 1, 2, 3, 
four, but remember we like putting them in order from smallest to largest. So I have one, two, three, four, 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, and that's part B completed. Part C then asks me, what list the elements of X intersection Y? Okay, so X intersection Y. So this symbol stands for intersection. And that's my middle part here. And I have nothing inside in it. Okay, so if there's nothing inside in it, I can write this two ways. Okay, so this is known as my null set. Okay, so it's empty. There's nothing inside in it. Or I could use this. It's a zero with a line going through it. So either answer is correct. If there's nothing inside in the element inside in the set, I call it the null set, and I can either write it with two empty brackets and nothing in between it, or a zero with a line going through it. Part D then, I'm asked, what is the hashtag of X union Y? Okay, X union Y is everything inside my two circles. My union is everything in the two circles. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my answer here is eight. And part E asks me for my hashtag X intersection Y. Okay, my intersection is my middle part. It's where they overlap. It's what they have in common. I have no elements inside here. So my answer is zero. And then you had one more question to complete. It was question five. Okay, so here I have question five. So my set E is 1, 4, 16, and my set F is 1, 4, 16, 64. I'm asked to copy and complete the Venn diagram, so I need to fill in my Venn diagram here. So the first thing you always fill in in your Venn diagram is your intersection, so the middle part. I do this by finding out what they have in common, okay? So E has one, and F also has one, so I put in my one. E has four and F also has four, so I put in my four. And E has 16 and so does F, so I put in my 16, okay? E has nothing left over, so nothing is going to go inside here. And F just has 64 left over, so I'm gonna put in my 64. That is part A, the Venn diagram completed. Then I'm asked to list the elements of E, U, F, okay, so we know that symbol now stands for union, okay, so the union is everything inside in the two circles, so I have 1, 4, 16, and 64. Next I have part C, so part C, it says list the elements of E intersection F, okay, my intersection is my middle part. So that symbol stands for intersection. It's my middle part of my circle, so it's where they overlap, and I'm left with one, four, and 16. Then I have D, so it says, what is hashtag E? So we know the hashtag in math stands for cardinal number, so it's the number of elements in the set, and in set E, I have one, two, three, so this answer is three. Then I have E. What is hashtag E intersection F? Okay, so my intersection is my middle part and the cardinal number is the number of elements in that set. So I have one, two, three. So my answer is three again. And then my final question that I was asked is what is hashtag E union F? Okay, we know the union is everything inside in two circles, so I have to count up how many elements do I have. I have one, two, three, four. So the answer for that one is four. 